and we are live. What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video today, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're all doing absolutely amazing and achieving all your goals, all right? So in today's video, we are doing a YouTube Q&A. So I posted up on the gram. I was like, yo, ask away, because I do want you guys to get to know me a lot more. My Instagram is Fidella Moonshed, if you want to check it out link in description. I really want to touch base on things that I kind of haven't talked to you about before. Grab your popcorn, grab your chips, grab your pencil, and let's get this thing rock and rolling. If you really want to get to know me more, um, this is why we're here. So I appreciate you staying and let's get this thing going, baby. Again, I posted it on the gram and the gram is Fidella Moonshed if you want to check it out. We're going to start with the easy questions, right? And then as we continue, um, I'm going to answer some more of the personal, some more of the things like that, right? So obvious question number one is what is your full name? So guys, my full name is Fidelala Amar Moonshed, okay? So Fidelala Amar Moonshed. In Arabic, it's Fadlala. And fun fact about me when I was growing up, everybody would like kind of make fun of me, be like, Fidelala la 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 la, like a Christmas song, right? I was like, yo, chill! So for a long time, I went by Fidel, right? It was easier on the tongue, pause. And um, it just it just sued the law and I didn't get made fun of, right? But then as I grow older, as I got older, I was like, dude, my name's Fidela Amar Moonshed. So that's the full name is Fidela Amar Moonshed. If you speak Arabic or if you don't speak Arabic and you want to try, it's Fadlala. Fadlala. Alhamdulillah, you know? So that's the name, Fidela Amar Moonshed. I was born March 1st, 2002. And yeah, I'm an absolute machine. I'm an absolute beast. And you know the deal. Next question, baby. What music are you currently enjoying? I know this is going to sound cliche. Guys, I have my moods, bro. One day I'll want country. One day I'll probably want some hip hop. You know, the next day I want just straight thoughts. You know what I mean? And then a lot of times, guys, like if, I'm, if I had to pick one, guys, a lot of times I just listen to motivational stuff. I listen to things on improving. And I just listen to like a collab of things that motivate and inspire if that makes sense right but i listen to all kinds of music i'm open to all kinds of them but sometimes that country be uh, what do you think about injecting substances what they're talking about guys is extracurricular stuff you can do in the gym and in your fitness to really push yourself to get muscle quicker or to really add on a ton of muscle in the shortest amount of time possible what do i think about it guys so i'm a lifetime natural guys i've never added any secret sauce to my fitness, to my health, anything like that, guys. I have literally been training for eight plus years now. And with all that, I've built the muscle that I've built and I continue to build muscle, right? Now, do I have anything against it? Not exactly, right? If you wanna do it, do you, bro. That's on you, you know what I'm saying? Do I suggest it? No. I think everybody's extremely capable of building the physique they want. It just takes some time. And that time is something you have to put in, right? Because you need a good foundation, guys, either way, to really build a nice physique. And the only way to build a good foundation is by putting in that work, okay? So what do I think about it? Do what you want. Do I suggest it? No. I think if you can do the natural route, which you can, do the natural route. Why not, bro? Natty for life. How much cardio to stay fit? These are like a lot of educational questions too, which I love answering. So... I would say if you're trying to stay fit, the, I would say the rule of thumb is 30 minutes a day, six times a week. And if you want to really push it an entire week, right? Consistent training. Um, I think if you just get on the treadmill or go for a walk, go for a jog, walk your dog, go out for a walk with your mom or dad. It's extremely important to literally just stay fit, guys. Staying fit will help you tenfold, right? Even again, even if that's going out and just walking. So to stay fit, I recommend 20 to 30 minutes a day, five to six times a week. And if you just want to get the most out of it every single day, because guys, walking, jogging keeps everything flowing, baby. Snapchat, my Snapchat is Fidela M, F A D E L E L L A H M. That's my Snapchat. It'll be in the link in the description. How old were you when you started your journey? So, guys, there's like so many ways I can answer this question, but the most straight shot is. I fell in love with bodybuilding and fitness at 12 years old. Um, I love the way you could just transform your body no matter what, right? You do some push-ups, after a while you get a big chest, you know what I'm saying? So I started loving it at 12 years old, but I didn't get into the gym until 15 years old. That's when I officially started training, you know what I'm saying? So I would say eight plus years now, but official training, 
you know, five plus years. So that's when I, I would say unofficial 12, official in the gym, 15 years old. So five plus years of official training now. Here's a deeper question. Was growing up hard or easy for you? So guys, alhamdulillah for everything. That's first off, okay? So me growing up, what a lot of, this will be like a first time or I've ever kind of talked about this or touched base on it, is when I was growing up, my parents actually did split up. Okay, and so in that, it wasn't like the OMG, like, you know, next the next day, you're like, okay, cool, who do we live with, right? No, it was a lot different than that. Um, thank God I did grow up with all my siblings and all my siblings, we kind of always had each other's back. You know what I'm saying? They always, always kept each other accountable. And so, but there were two households, right? And I did choose to go and stay with my father, but I have a great relationship with everybody. You know what I mean? But that definitely, I guess you could say that definitely changed things up a little bit, right? Because everybody else went with my mom. So I went with my father, but I would definitely say it taught me a lot of lessons, right? And that, that's one of the big reasons why I was in the gym so much, right? Because guys, mind you, I, I love the gym so much. The gym was right by my house at the time. I'm going to the gym, you know what I'm saying? So that's a big reason why I was in the gym so much. It definitely kept my eyes on that and I loved it. I love it and I still love it to this day. So again, it wasn't easy, but it wasn't necessarily hard because we always had each other's back, you know what I mean? And you know, my parents are doing great, so that's all that matters, you know? And I've learned so many things from that so whenever it's whenever i got some kids or whatever i know how to go and kind of reciprocate the love and treat them and have them etc 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 you know what i mean so i'm gonna just leave it off with alhamdulillah for everything what is your favorite sport and why so for the longest time guys i loved football like love 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 football i was like this is the sport for me i love it and then i would definitely say as i got older i was like okay this sport kind of sucks. You know what I mean? Like I was like, ah, and that is when I went into wrestling guys. So another fun fact about me guys, everybody, almost all the boys in my family did wrestle. They absolutely loved it, but I was kind of cherry picking. I was like, no, like that's their thing. This is my thing. But, um, as I got older, I was like, let me just try this wrestling thing. Right. And it was a fantastic decision. Okay. So I absolutely love wrestling. That is why I got the cauliflower ear. So you can get this from a few sports, but I got this from wrestling specifically. I highly recommend to anybody to do wrestling, right? If you're a kid that still has the opportunity to do that, or if you want to get into it, if just for fun, go and do it, bro. It teaches you so much mental stuff and so much physical stuff. And it's honestly like a game of chess, right? Is my move going to be better than yours? We'll see. You know what I mean? So I love, love, love wrestling. I do have a, a love for football, but the love for wrestling is tenfold what it is for football. Why do you love fitness so much? So guys, fitness for me has always been such a, just such a big thing, right? Again, back to the basic answer of if you want to change your body in any way, shape or form, you can do that because of the gym. You know what I'm saying? So I guess one big thing for me is growing up, it was one of those places where I found just, you know, where I just absolutely loved it, right? I felt the best in the gym um, because I guess it's just more so much more than the gym and fitness. It's just the fact that I'm bettering myself is what I love. You know what I'm saying? I know when I'm chasing something or when I'm trying to achieve something, I absolutely love it because you're inching closer and closer Then, boom, you got it. You know what I'm saying? So I think I love fitness so much is one, a few answers, right? One, um, it's completely up to you, right? You can do it or you can not do it. I choose to do it because I love it. Number two, I love to motivate and inspire others, right? I feel like I feel like there's so many people out there who also want to get into great shape and I post tons of exercise videos, tons of things like that to help them get there and then they get there. You know what I'm saying? So I love to inspire and motivate you guys because again, I'm also a lifetime natty. This is another thing, right? I'm also a lifetime natty to show you that you can achieve anybody you want as long as you're willing to put in the effort, guys. Effort and consistency, when you mix those two up, you get anything you want, okay? That's another reason I stayed Lifetime Natty is to show you that you can do it as long as you work for it. You know what I'm saying? So those two answers in the number three, I would definitely say it's just like a, it's, it's so important for your health, guys. Not even if you don't even need to lift crazy weights, right? If you're just working out, it's so important for your health. Again, it keeps everything flowing, keeps you feeling good. It's extremely important, I believe for your mental health guys, because you're, you're exercising, your blood's flowing, you know what I'm saying? It's great for your heart, your brain, your body, and your mind. So it's extremely important for your health. Again, even walking outside will literally switch up your mood. It's a big mood enhancer, by the way. 
And last but not least, how do you stay so motivated? I always like to say motivation is like the push you get to start running. You know what I'm saying? Uh, think about the push as in the motivational spark and then the consistent running that you're doing, that's discipline, guys. I put so much more weight on discipline than I do motivation, okay? Motivation will get you started. Discipline will help you achieve whatever it is you wanna achieve, okay? So don't put too much weight on motivation at all. Um, I think motivation is great. I think you do need it in the beginning, but we also need to transfer that motivation into a consistent, right? So for example, fitness. To transform it from motivation to discipline, I think you just need to be so goal-oriented, guys, and you need to know exactly what you're going after, right? So a pirate, the reason they jumped on other pirate ships was for gold. You know, they didn't jump on it to have a nice ship. I mean, they took the ship, right? But the ultimate goal for a pirate was getting that chest of gold, right? So in fitness or in anything you do, that motivation starts for something, right? You started that, you get that nice, beautiful flick for something. So if you get motivation to go to the gym, you get it to go, but it's to look a certain way, right? For me, I get the motivation to go, but the discipline is to look this certain way. The best way to transform motivation into discipline is to just make it a consistent, guys, because when you do something enough, it becomes a habit, and we only want to have the best habits, bro, right? Because there's also bad habits. You know, you gotta pick your habits, bro, so pick the right habits. Whenever you have motivation, be like, okay, this is great, this is awesome, but bro, motivation is so fleeting, guys. Discipline, discipline is forever, okay? Remember that, motivation is fleeting, Discipline is forever. So the way I look at motivation is, yes, this is awesome, I love it, but I get even more fired up whenever I build the discipline for a certain goal, for a certain thing, or just a certain lifestyle, okay? So stop juggling motivation. Cool, motivation's awesome, but let me become disciplined, guys. And the way you build discipline is by showing up every single day. Not when you feel like it, because that's motivation. When you have to, when you feel great, when you don't want to do it, when you feel amazing, right? You do it no matter what, because then that will get you exactly what you want, guys. All right, all the winners, all the winners in the world do it when they want to and do it when they don't want to, because that is discipline, bro, right? And everybody's like, oh, I'm, I'm sure he loves it. I'm sure he loves it too, right? But he does it every single day, no matter what. But ladies and gentlemen, that was today's q and I really, really do hope you enjoyed it. Um, again, the questions were kind of all over the place, but I really do hope you got something out of it. I hope you learned more about me. And if you made it this far, I really, really appreciate you. It means the world to me, okay? But other than that, guys, if you're new here, shoot me a thumbs up, subscribe, comment what you want to see. If you guys want to see anything specific, or if you have any questions for the next Q&A, comment them. Uh, if you want to check out my other socials, guys, click the link in the description. It'll be my Instagram, Snapchat, and then everything else that I do. But other than that, guys, I will see you later. I might.